like, ah, oh, thank you, me, bald headed me, me, do all you're talking about me, and I was so casual. Yeah, life is too short. Well, we we know that, but it's still a bit. The lips are popping. This is what I use: spicy blonde, spicy rum is my foundation that I use in um, Too Faced. I love them. I love them for me. I love them for me. What are you saying? Not the time or the place, baby. It's not right. It's not right. No. Going insane. Got a problem to fix. Can we face it tonight? Face it tonight. Oh. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, world? It's me, your girl, Angela. Welcome to Doing Life with Angela, where we talk about all things style, all things fashion, all things fabulous, and we'll talk about life issues as well. I think I'm going to change my tagging line. All things style, all things fabulous, all things fashion. Nah, we're going to get back to that. We're going to be talking about all things style, all things fashion, all things fabulous, and life issues as well. Good morning, good people. Uh, it is all about the lips, honey. This lip oil from F is everything, okay? So let's do a lipstick haul today. We're going to do a lipstick haul. I'm going to try them on, let you guys see what they look like, and you can compare it to my skin complexion. I'm pretty dark. And um, let's see what it do. But before we do that, we're going to head on over here and take my mom to the doctors she have to have surgery on her cataracts 
And you know we got to go to the grocery store because this lady always want to go to the what? The grocery store. And so we're going to do that. And then we're going to um, sample some lip gloss and some lipstick. But this, this F lips, lip gloss right here, baby, it is doing its thing. It is glowing. Your lips feel so uh, alive, vibrant, if you can say about lips. It is tingling, it is shining, it is glowing, it is glossing, it is doing its business. And so, Elf is cheap too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Elf is really inexpensive. So, we're going to try that. And also, y'all, y'all like my client Sharetta's makeup I did? That is my first paying client for makeup. I think I did pretty good. And I think I did it within 30 35 minutes uh, it's some steps that I need to learn I still I will get better especially with the eyeshadow but um I'm excited for me so be excited for me too you gotta do what you gotta do a girl gotta do what a girl's gotta do you gotta use what's in your hand honey you can't just sit around here and and not have enough and lack keep beating your behind you gotta get up and make some stuff happen as long as God bless these hands these hands are going to be working Y'all like my new classes? Get into them. They're blue, yellow, and gold. And I... I love them. I love them for me. I love them for me. Honey, to be able to see and to be able to switch them out, they're not um Chanel or... Um, YSL or Fendi, Fenty or anything like that, but they're mine.
y'all hey good morning it is wednesday and i am up getting ready to head to work and um i need to go and find me a black dress to wear to my oldest sister 60th birthday party um well birthday dinner her birthday is august 12th but we're having her a dinner um an intimate dinner this saturday which would be the ninth, and so I gotta get up and um, get them moving because usually my week be um, busy towards the end with clients, so uh, I'm gonna get up and do that. But anyway, I'm getting ready to put my moisturizer on. I told you guys that I was using um, Kia. Can you see that? And um, this was my birthday gift from Ulta. I be messing that name up. Sometimes I say ultra, something I say ultra, but I know it's ultra. And so I'm going to put my moisturizer on. And I've learned when I was working for Dillard's and working for uh, Elizabeth Arden that it is best to pat your products in your face and not rub it because you're literally rubbing it off. So that is my moisturizer for today. Y'all see my skin? Y'all see it's it's it has a long way to go, but it is so much better, better. And for those of you who who's just following me, these light spots has been in my face since I was like um 13 because at first my pigments was falling asleep and I was having um light spots all over my body. Uh, my mom took me to have some radiation treatments and uh, it stopped um, them from dying. Now, in my older age, I'm having hyperpigmentation where they're working too fast, too much that is causing me to have this um, darkness. But um, I was in Ulta yesterday and I see that the kill have come up with this um, system a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a brightener. Um, I'm going to get it by like $100. I'm going to get it sometime next week and start using it and see how how it works. I told you guys that I bought the Fenty um, Tinted Moisturizer. Although I put my own moisturizer on, this is a Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm going to give this a try. Uh, it is... Can you see the color? Right? And I'm a seal. Hope it ain't too light. See what that look like on me. And then just use my Sephora um, powder. Because I want to look a little, like a little bit of... Look like something when I come back on camera. Because I gather up all my lipsticks and lip gloss that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I realized I went back and looked at some pictures. And on those pictures, I either don't have on any makeup, I have on some type of gloss, or I have on the same color, a burgundy or a pink. And I wanted to uh, try something different. Uh, to me, this make me look a little ashy. Um, it's okay. I'll let it settle, see if it'll settle. See if it'll settle. It looks a little bit like my foundation that I use. You know, I use NARS or Too Faced. It's a tad lighter, but the other one was even darker. They need to work on some more um, shades. Hold on, y'all. Let me wash my hands. What you think? It's okay. Give me a little coverage. And I'm going to use my Sephora powder as well. But before I do that, I'm going to add me some eyeliner. I'm using a camera for my mirror because my mirror is right here. And then I am just going to put on a little 
um, mascara. But before that, I'm going to put my pot on. You guys know I'm using Sephora. And I am using the uh, 46Y. And what I've learned about this, too, is I don't rub it in. I pat it on. And see, it matched my neck in this part of my this part of my jaw. This is my color. This and this. I don't know where all this came from. But nevertheless, we're going to pat that on. And I save the major beaten face for when I go out like this Saturday. I will put on all kind of foundation, contour, blush, eyeshadows, and all that. Because sometimes, you know, when you dress up every day, all day, you don't look special on a special occasion. It look no difference. And so I always tell people I clean up well. I just pat, pat, pat. So I'm going to be cleaned up pretty good um, this Saturday. Y'all want to go and try to buy a wig. <laughs> I want to buy a wig, but the thing is, my head is so small. Look, I wear kids hats. My head is so small that uh, most wigs are too, too big. The earpiece be way down here. And this... When you tighten it, it'd be a big old knot in the back of my head. So, that's why I don't wear wigs. Now, I used to make um, like a, a wig um, on my own. And I might do that. But, um, and I used to wear a lot of weed, like bonding glue. But the bonding glue has latex in it. And because it has latex in it, um, it irritates my scalp real bad because I am highly, highly allergic to latex. I bet y'all say she allergic to everything, pretty much. And they also say as long as I continue to do hair, um, those things that I'm allergic to will get worse and my allergic reaction will start, what's the word? I would become allergic to more things, more things, and more things, and more things. But anyway, honey, I can't stop doing that right now. Not until Jesus bring me something else to make the money that I make. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. It's morning and sinus is still going on. So there I have it. My powder. My moisturizer by Fenty. It's not bad. I'm going to give it a try for the week and see how I like it. Make sure it don't break me out can't be breaking out honey i'm already just overcoming this horrible horrible rash on my neck and my arm y'all right in here you can't see it but honey it feel like leather honey it feel like leather my skin is so rough but anyway i think i'll just go ahead and put on a little concealer since i want to uh try some different um uh, what I'm gonna try? Some different um, da -da 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 -da. lipsticks today. When I get work, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I chose for lipsticks. And I think I was talking to y'all about that. Sorry, mm -hmm. off camera. That I was saying that um, I was I wear the same thing over and over and over and over. And so I want a signature lip, right? For like every day. And I want lips that when I dress up, I pop. I'm going to come alive, honey. I'm going to come alive in 56 and alive, honey. 56 and alive. 56 and growing old gracefully. All of those things we want to do. And so, there we have it. All right? I'm not going to... Um, put on any powder because I mean like bacon I think bacon tends to make my creases show up more so I'll just pat it in a little more and I told you guys I love this mascara by Mary Kay it's called love lash lash love this you see my lashes now 
You don't see them. Look like I ain't got none. But wait. As I add this. They're so short. My lashes are so short. They're tight. I like to say they're nappy like my hair. But you can't use that word because you get offended. Black people get offended when you call your hair nappy. But oh, it is me. You see them now, don't you? Now you see them. Now you don't. Now you see them. Now you don't. So, I think I told you guys you're supposed to twirl. I know it's a habit to pump, but you should twirl because when you pump air, it gets in your mascara and it causes a fungus, cause bacteria rather, which can cause a fungus. And we don't want to do that. Yeah, I wear this a lot because I feel like if you have your eyelashes, your eyebrows done, and a little lip, you look pretty put together. But um, I can't wear false lashes on a regular. Why? Because it has latex in the glue. And I am allergic to what? Latex. Remember that, you guys? You got it. I am allergic to latex, so I cannot. It was a long time that I, I couldn't wear my, uh, la uh, lashes at all. But then I found uh, some no latex glue. I didn't even know they made lo no latex glue. But um, when I was working at Dillup, there was this guy that worked there. You know, he wore makeup. He dressed up and he wore makeup and he worked in the makeup department and he was telling me that I could, I was telling him why I don't wear lashes and he was like, you know, they have this glue called no latex. I was like, no, I don't. I'm going to have to throw this on the way it's drying out. And you know, you should change your mascara every three months, not wait until you use it up, but literally every three months we should be getting a new mascara. A new tube of uh, mascara, rather. But anyway, his name was Alex. And Alex uh, is the one that let me know that there is a thing called no latex glue. If y'all hear somebody talking, that's my mom. That's my mom talking. Anyway, I am so excited that when I get to dress up, when I want to dress up, I can now wear lashes. I'm going to show y'all the glue. This is a glue. It's called super strong hole eyelash adhesive that's not the one i want to show you i don't know where that one came from this one that i want to show you is by kiss see it's by kiss and it is made with aloe and you can't see it right here but right down here it'll tell you that it says no latex the best thing for me, honey, the best thing was finding that no latex. And I'm going to just put on a little gloss. And I like to use an eggshell or uh, purple. And y'all, one thing about me, too, is that I don't hardly ever use lip liners. I don't. I use eyeliners for my lips. Because I am highly, I know you're sick of me, highly allergic to things. And when I try to use lip liners, it usually breaks my lip out. And so I stick to what I know. I decided to use this brown one instead of purple. I stick to what I know.
and I am just going to use my F's um, lip oil. I have fallen, fallen in love with them things, baby. Falling in love with you, baby. Falling in love with you, baby. I love the way they make my lip feel. Hold on. And especially this color. I told you the color before, but let me share it with you again. No, I don't know the color anymore. I can't see it. But anyway, this is it. And this thing is everything. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Linda. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Linda. Look at this. Bernie Mac. Look here. Look here. Look here. And that is me for today. Okay. That's all I'm going to do with myself. I broke out with my new glasses and I love them. I love them. Y'all, I was in Winn Dixie yesterday. You know, honey, every time I take my mom to the doctor or. Even if I don't have to take her to the dollar, I have to take her to the grocery store. And so we was in the house phone, y'all. My mom still have a house phone. We was in the grocery store, and this lady came from, I don't know where she came from. She was far from us. And she came up to me, and she circled me, and she was like, I'm sorry, but I just got to tell you that you look so classy. You look, no, she said, you look rich. You look so rich and so classy. I was like, oh, thank you, me, bald headed me, me, do all you're talking about me. And I was so casual, but I did get up and put on a little powder and um, I didn't iron, but um, it didn't need to be ironed. I put on a set, you know, when you want to look put together without going above and beyond to look put together honey put on a suit put on an outfit put on a set rather put on a matching set and it looks like hmm she put herself together real good but anyway i had it it was yellow you'll see a picture it was yellow and my glasses has yellow and blue in it and i had on some blue fit flops and your girl was looking pretty good but anyway enough of that i gotta get out of here and go to work but i'm gonna show you the um lipsticks that we're gonna um put on together while i'm at work because i have a break and i have three of juvia uh, uh lipsticks one is called mute one is called lady and one is called ruby rose uh it might be backwards because i'm using my um phone I haven't got a camera yet, but I will one day. So it's Mute Lady Ruby Rose. And then that, these came from Ultra. Ultra, Ultra, you know. You know what I'm talking about from here. And then I am going to talk to you also about these three. I got three and three. Because, um... This came from Sephora. Sephora, I got number 21, number 1, and number 25. One is like uh, a nude, a nude brown, tan, a nude uh, mob pink, and then this is like an orange color. The orange is orange orange the orange the orange is 25 number 25 the mob is uh, uh number one and then the nude is 21 y'all got that and so i'm going to show you guys what this looked like on me also and then oh then i got this for ultra too this is the else it's sun gloss it has sunscreen in it which i like i'm gonna try this and i think this was like a virgin yeah maybe not i think the lips that came from the beauty supply store one is like a virgin yes uh 
these are butter bombs lip gloss and they're supposed to not oh shoot i always do that they're supposed to not be sticky because you know when you have the lip gloss on and you have those lines it can't be that if so i'm gonna um not wear them because i don't like that cake up on your lips mm -mm. no man i like that but one thing about beauty supply store god y'all beauty supply store really has some nice lipstick and lip gloss and the reason why i chose ultra um not ultra but sephora lipstick because they were cheaper uh-huh they were less expensive ultra and juvia lipsticks lip gloss and elf is more affordable more affordable they're like thirteen dollars sixteen dollars eight dollars i was looking at fanny fenty i was looking at um um bobby brown i looked at um who else anyway they're 23 43 45 chanel 48 46 dollar and uh i just want it to do what it do okay and I, it's not about a name brand because it's not like people know what's on your lips and it's not, if you like something you like it now if you're a name brand whore then that's a different story you only like something because of the name of it that's a different story but if you like something because you like it then it does not matter how much it costs nor does it matter who made it as long as it looks good on you it works with your skin it doesn't break you out i'm gonna do a haul beauty at the dollar tree i'm gonna do a haul on that so that's gonna be next beauty at the dollar tree but anyway these are the um six i think i got like mm, 12 i want to share with you okay not 12 maybe like nine because i'll scratch out this here um avocado oil from elf this is elf the elf like santa claus elves because i've used this a couple of times so you don't need to see that anymore you know what it is that oil is everything, honey. This here, Glow Reviver Lip Oil. F did they thing with this, honey. They did they thing. Okay. Anyway, that's about it. I'm going to put all these in a bag. Take them to work with me. And on my break, we're going to go through them. Okay? So... See you guys soon. Hey, y'all. Hey. So, I am finally going to show you guys the lipsticks that I purchased. Now, the first three that I purchased came from uh, Ulta. Now, the brand is Juvia. And the first one I'm going to try is Ruby Red. Uh, I'm not going to try on all of them, you guys. I just want to... Um, to let you see the shade so you can try it if you like it you know you can never go wrong with the red this is a red gloss more so like a reddish orange gloss I and mean, you know this go with anything go with black go with white go with brown it goes with everything okay and so you want to just throw on you a, a, a gloss i would do a liner but um i didn't bring any liners with me and although this is a, a gloss oil already that i have on my lip it's not gonna change the color, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. No, smells good, you guys. And you know, you can see it's just a reddish tint. And if I put on a brown liner, or I like I told you guys, I love eggshell. I love anything like with a hint of purple, purple and brown that you mix together. I will hit that on or I could do a deep red as well but this is um, the um, ruby red by Juvia now this is muted uh, it's like a mauve neutral color I really like this especially if I throw on a brown liner and I have on natural um, eyeshadows and a natural beat this is pretty mm -hmm. this is what it looked like See that? This is really, really pretty, y'all. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like a brownish um, taupe color. I like it. It is a matte color. Um, so, you know, no shine, no gloss. But you could put a little gloss on top of it if you wanted it to shine. But personally, I like um, the matte color. No smell to it. 
that's good it doesn't stink even though it doesn't have a flavor but it still looks good just imagine it with a liner now this is juvia and it's called lady lady you are my lady everything i need and more you are my lady don't act like y'all don't know freddie freddie jackson <laughs> This is gorgeous. Brown liner, for sure. Neutral color. Even if you're not neutral, you can pop with some smoky eyes. This is gorgeous. Go with gold. Go with brown. I love this. This lady may be my signature lips. That's what I'm working on. I told you guys I wanted to be a signature lip. I noticed that when I dress up and put on makeup, I don't really have popping lips. So y'all, I want my lips to pop, pop, pop. Pop. So this is Lady. You like it? Tell me what you think, which one you like so far. Um, I'm sure the Ruby Red is just like, you know, just a gloss, nothing fancy, but it will go great on top of a red gloss and a red lipstick. I'm sorry, a red matte. It will go great with. And I do like the nude, which is called Muted. But this so far, Lady by Juvia, Juvia is my favorite out of the three that I purchased. And they all came from Ultra, but you know Sephora sell it as well. And you can get it online too. Okay, so I told you guys that I also purchased three lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store. It is made by Ruby, and this is Butter Bomb Lip Gloss. One is called uh, White Lies. It is number 23. The other one is called uh, Champagne. It is 01. And the last one is, you know, 24. Like a virgin. Who? Touch for the very first time. Like a virgin. Madonna used to be getting it. Get it, Madonna. I love pink. And this is a pink, like a virgin. Really, really soft. Uh huh. Yes, you see that? That done brought me to life already, honey. Honey, honey, honey. This, it almost looked white, but oh, this is so pretty. This is definitely going to go well with my um, eggshell. Um, it's an eyeliner, but I use it for a lip liner. My eggshell egg liner, it's like a burgundy, deep, deep purple. This, going to be pop pop popping. Love it. Love it for real, y'all. This is very formal. It looks good. I'm sure it's going to look good when I dress up. Maybe I'll wear this Saturday to my sister's um, birthday dinner. Like a virgin. 24 ruby. And it is butter bomb. Now, champagne is subtle. Uh, it's okay. But again, it's still not making my lips be like, you know, it's cute, it's subtle. You can tell I have on something, but it's not it's not wowing me. But anyway, I like it so far. Don't smell bad. I you can't, you know, cause some of the stuff smell like chemical. It smells, I don't know, like chemicals. These don't, so I like that about it. And they are not sticking or leaving a line or, you know, it could be chalky. You know how some people have that, um, lip gloss on and you you can't stand and see them talk because all of this so far it's not sticking it's not doing that it's not caking up so beauty supply store it's one in every corner in the hood in the neighborhood anywhere where black folks live they got them so you can find them ruby it's ruby kisses and this is um, 23 white lies I ain't telling them white lies. Don't y'all be telling them white lies. A lie is a lie. It's just a white lie. Lies. It looks a little bit like the, um, uh, like a version, but this is really like white. It's like white. That's why they call it, that's why they call it white lies, because it is white. So, black and white, black and yellow, black and orange, black and whatever. Nice, nice. I like this. I would do this with a brown liner. 
yeah now this is my last F uh, it's called pink me girl pink me girl I picked this up from um, Ulta but you know um, CVS yes they do carry this CVS and if I'm not mistaken I think um, Old Navy carry F uh, but this is called pink me girl I like it again you know I'm going to use my eggshell or brown depends on what I'm wearing with it um, I told y'all that I wasn't going to be trying on all these lipsticks I lied I don't try it on every last one of them so far I have three more to go and these three that I'm going to show you now I purchased from Sephora baby honey the way they wrap these lipsticks up and seal these lipsticks, they make show sure y'all don't be stealing their lipstick or trying them on in the store. Because you got to get a knife or scissors and everything to try to take these um, yeah, packages are loose. Anyway, nevertheless, these are my last three. Again, I told you guys they came from Sephora. The first one I'm going to start is with 01. What I like about Sephora colors is that uh, it is a number you don't have to worry about a color it is a number honey a number it's a number yeah hey, it's going so smooth y'all come come on sephora for the smoothness i'm using my um lens for my mirror that's why i look over here but nevertheless y'all see that nice um a matte um, very nice and again you can use any color um, lip liner for me eyeliner that you want I don't know what's in the eyeliner that's not in the lip liner that a lip liner break me out but an eyeliner don't don't judge me uh, it's not my fault but anyway this is called uh, 01 from Sephora and I like it I like it a lot it, it's this one Cause I know they got different um, types, but this this is Sephora zero one. Me like, me like, me like it. I realize, God, I have a um, maybe a tight because all of my colors, although they are three different brands, they're almost three are the same shades in in all three brand. I got to get some more purple, some more popping, some red, some gold. I'm not gonna do the black, but I'll do a purple or some red, some rich gold. I need to add those to my um to my collection. That's what I need to do. I need to add those to my collection. This is number 21. 21, you're legal to drink. Huh? After 21, no more card of you. Uh, one thing about Sephora lipsticks, they go on really, really smooth. And this is 21. It is more like a, a nude brown, peachy, maybe orangey, an orangey brown nude. Nice though. Um, you know, whatever liner you want, it would always look better with a liner. last but not least this is 25 it is a popping gorgeous orange yeah definite brown liner definite a brown liner look at that look at that or if you can find a deep orange brown um, liner it will go well huh come on sephora don't even take don't even take much i have washed off my other one but nevertheless Oh, that is see that's what I'm talking about God dog it that's what I'm talking about she popping she is popping imagine me dressed up I'm wearing this Saturday mm-hmm you gonna see me in my outfit for my sister birthday party 
birthday dinner. Yeah, she got on number 25, Sephora, number 25. That's what she got on. Uh-huh, that me, that's what I got on. That's what I'm wearing. That is exactly what I'm wearing. Hold on. I think I'm going to keep this on today. Throw on a little bit of my um, oil, F oil, honey. Come on. Come on, Angela. No, I ain't going to keep this on. This is popping too much for what I got on. I got on much of nothing. I got on my Biggie shirt, T-shirt from Target. I have on some green um, shorts from Dillard's. I don't know the name of it. I have on um, my Irma Duke Steve Madden green. And I am carrying my green leather bag that I got from TJ Maxx. <laughs> See that? I'll pop in a picture after I change this. And that is it i hope you guys are going to get you some lipstick some lip gloss you know vamp up your style you know shift your your style you know come out of the norm do something different you know every seven years you should change something about yourself you should never ever um be the same and some of our lipsticks you guys not me because i don't have that many but some of your lipsticks you've had for years and they do have an expiration date so go through your product especially your mas mascara you do not want to play with things that you put on your eyes you need to get a new mascara every three months don't play with it fungus maggots every three months you should be getting a new uh Mascara, and I would say every year, year and a half, change out your lipsticks, and uh, you know, definitely change out your sponges. We have sponges and brushes that we don't have for years. You can keep them if you're washing them and you're making sure you're taking good care of them. If not, hey, the beauty supply store, the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, um, Ultra have some um very um affordable um brushes, um, TJ Maxx, Marshall, all of those, and so you know keep your utensils your your um equipment up to part that you don't cause any more damage on your face or anywhere else on your body nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so very much for always ve viewing my vlogs thank you for commenting oh y'all turn on that notification bell so you don't miss me when i show up because why i am doing what showing up baby she was showing up and again, thank you for sharing. Remember, sharing is caring. I greatly appreciate you for doing life with Angela in my 50s, late 50s, you guys. And I want to tell you as I get ready to end this vlog um, to embrace the changes that's coming. Embrace those things that God is trying to bring to you. Release those things that's holding you back release the even the way we used to think about things um if they're not um serving you let it go uh, it is okay to change your your mind about a situation or a thing or even a person it is okay to try something new yeah change is something that sometimes we don't like but it's necessary so um go with the changes as long as you know they're coming from the holy ghost god and um, embrace him. Relax. Relax in his arm. Allow him to lead and guide you. And as long as we're trusting in him, he will surely direct our path. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And so, with that being said, thank you again for liking, subscribing, turning on your, turning on your notification bell, and for sharing. This is your girl, Angela, and everything you do, always be true to you. I love you and I mean it. Bye! The lips are popping.